Greetings and welcome to another edition of The Great Goddess. Praise be to Goddess. Praise be to Goddess. Well, here it is another Wednesday, and today we have for you the topic of personal goals. Now, we all have personal goals, but we don't always live up to these goals. Why? Well, one of the reasons that we don't live up to these personal goals is because we haven't written them down. And this is a great idea for all of you, is to write down your personal goals. Now, to get you started and to give you some ideas, um, in his book, Awaken the Giant Within, Tony Robbins talks about personal goals. Now, I've already finished reading this book, but um, I, this is based upon my reading in the past week or so. And he talks about personal goals and how oftentimes people make goals for themselves and never live up to them because they haven't written them down. And what you want to do is you want to write them down and then you want to put them some place where you can see them all the time, like your bathroom mirror or beside your bed, some place where you're looking all the time and you'll see your personal goals every day. So here's the goals you want to write down. First, you want to brainstorm. So brainstorm all the personal goals that you have for your for improving yourself so improving yourself would be like um, uh, learning a new language or or um, not traveling to a foreign country not yet not quite yet that's not uh, a, per a personal goal that involves improving yourself it could be anything as simple as learning to bake a cake, you know, something that is a personal goal that is for yourself, something you want to do. So you make a, a brainstorm, a list, think of as many goals as possible for, for improving yourself and then pick the best one out of that group. So, um, it could be learning a foreign language is your top priority uh, priority but you want to set time limits for each of your goals so for example say that you want to learn a foreign language within two years so you write two years next to learn a foreign language and then next to other goals you have you write down similar things like like how to bake a cake you might want to learn that within the next few days or so so you write down the time limit and any goals that ha that are one year or less, one year or less to accomplish, you want to, to put a star next to those goals and then select the best one. So out of, out of the ones that you plan to accomplish in one year or less, you want to select the best one. Then you move on to your financial goals, and you might have a financial goal like make $50,000 at a new job or, or uh, start a business. That could be a financial goal. Or um, uh, buy some stock in a particular company. That might be a financial goal. And you do the same thing with the financial goals as you did with your with your personal growth goals, you you go over them and and list how long it'll take to accomplish each goal, how long for each goal, and then you select the ones that are one year or less and pick the best goal. Okay, and then he's got personal toys personal toys as goals. What do you want to buy within the next few years? And what are your long-term toy goals? 
and what are your short-term toy goals and in this category you do include trips to a foreign country so a trip to a foreign country is a toy goal and so is a new car a new house a new uh, camera anything you want that you that that is a goal for a toy you would like to have goes into toy goals and then you list how long to accomplish each one how long you want to accomplish each one and then you take the ones that are one year or less and circle the best one okay and then for the for the final goals um, the for the final goals he wants you to um, let's see oh yes what you want to contribute what is it you want to contribute to the world what are your goals for contributing do you want to give to a particular charity do you want to teach English do you want to volunteer your time what are your contribution goals so brainstorm a list of contribution goals think of all of the things you would like to accomplish that you would like to contribute such as volunteer work or giving to a charity and you make a list of all of the goals and then you select the ones that you want to accomplish within the next year and circle the best one so now you should have four goals that you've circled for the next year you write these down on a piece of paper and put it where you'll see it all the time now another thing you want to write down that you want to see all the time so you might want to add this to your piece of paper is your personal identity you want to set new goals for your personal identity so think of things that you want to be things that you aren't right now but that you would like to become within within however many years like decide right now what you want to be how what what your new identity is going to be and so you write down you brainstorm a list of identity goals for your new identity and you write them all down on a piece of paper all your new identity and then every day you can read what your new identity is going to be okay and add to this piece of paper um after you've come up with your identity goals the, of your new identity um you want to take each identity and translate it into some action that you can take each day so for example suppose your new identity is ceo of a new company well you want to take action each day some little action each day that'll get you closer and closer to becoming the ceo of your own company so every day make a list of all the things you want to do every day to meet your new with your new identity and put it somewhere where you can see it so um that could be anything it could be um i want to be a athlete so maybe one of your goals is to exercise 30 minutes a day for who, however many days you want to exercise 30 minutes a day so that you can get build up your your endurance and build up your stamina and build up your athletic abilities and then write down what you're going to do to become an athlete each day what you're going to do each day to start becoming an athlete and then put that where you can see it put it somewhere where you can see it all the time and the reason you want to change your identity because like for example my identity might be as a fat person because I'm fat but that isn't a very positive identity to have it's not positive so you want to replace it with something so you might want to replace the identity of fat with health 
So now my new identity is a health nut. So I, what am I going to do each day to, to uh, confirm that identity? Am I going to eat healthier foods? Am I going to eat healthy each day and learn to cook healthier and buy supplements? What am I going to do to, to go along with that health nut new identity? So once you have all your goals written down, all your new identity goals written down, and all of your things that you're going to do each day to, to uh, conform with your new identity, then put that somewhere where you'll see it all the time and look at it every day, first thing upon rising and first thing before going to bed. Look at your list. And I guarantee you that you will begin to make changes in your life in a positive direction just by looking at it every day and doing the things on your list. I'm Sarah Jane Alpha Wolf signing off. Um, have a terrific week and make a list of your new goals.